I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Good morning, Bellevue Heights Church. Good morning to everyone. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. It's what Pastor Rob has been talking about. It's what he's based his whole series on. I want to speak to that just a little bit, briefly. I, uh, as a youngster, I went to camp. And uh, I was maybe six, seven, eight years old, maybe nine, when I went to this camp, church camp. It was all the way to maybe five miles from home at the most. I thought it was 100 miles from home because we couldn't go home. And um, at that camp, guess what song we learned? One of the very first songs that we learned, I still know it, I still love it. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. To stay. Oh, my. Well, that brought me to thinking this week. How did I get that joy? Where did that joy actually come from? Well, if you look in... Uh, Whoops. If you look in, I'll get it here someplace. Galatians 5, 22, 23. This is what it says. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, Self-control. You realize none of these are controlled. None of these are unlawful. There's no law against any of these things. You can do all of these things all of the time. You're not breaking a law. Let's concentrate on joy. The Holy Spirit brings us joy, brings me joy, every minute of every day. He hears my prayers. He hears my thoughts. He knows my thoughts better than I know my thoughts. That's one of the beauties about it. He knows my thoughts better than I know my thoughts. He is one of God's greatest gifts to us. God gave us many gifts. He is a great and magnificent gift, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in us. He lives in us. And as John 15, 4 says, remain in me and I will remain in you. Remain faithful to me and I will remain faithful to you. The Holy Spirit has that in his hands. He has that in his hands. And that brings me joy right there, just thinking about that. Ephesians 5.18 says, Paul again, he says, Be filled with the Spirit. If you're filled with the Spirit, you're filled with the joy. Think about that. Sit there right now and think, wow, I'm filled with the Spirit. I'm filled with joy. Think about sitting in church and you're surrounded by your brothers and sisters in Christ. There's maybe a hundred, maybe a thousand there. And Pastor Rob says, join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Well, we just kind of go through that by rote, don't we? Our Father who art in heaven. Let's think about those words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Those are powerful. That's powerful. It's a powerful song, uh, prayer. Well, now think about the fact that that's being said a thousand times at the same time. The same prayer. The Holy Spirit is hearing that a thousand times. 
And then that multiplies exponentially. We have no idea. Again, powerful. The joy in that power is incredible. When I recite the Holy, the uh, Lord's Prayer, I get a tear in my eye. I, I, every time I can try to stop it, but it doesn't stop. It happens. Why? I'm so joyful. I'm not crying tears of sadness. I'm crying tears of joy. Every time. It, it doesn't seem to fail. Watch me now. The next time I won't cry. Um, we um, need to think about how powerful that Holy Spirit is and how powerful that joy is that he's given us. Something that as long as we stay faithful and true, and as long as we remain, we remain in God, God will remain in me. God will remain in me, not around me, well, that too, but in me, inside of me, in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Paul had this summary to make in the form of a prayer. Be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual so songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God, the Father, for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Have a wonderful week and think about the joy, 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 joy down in your heart.